Hey guys, what is up? SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the unique weapon Pew Pew in Fallout New Vegas. So what you're going to need to do is head over to the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters after collecting 50 Sunset Sarsaparilla star bottle caps. And to collect those, you're going to need to find them hidden across the wasteland. You can also get them from drinking random Sunset Sarsaparillas. Plus, there are two people that you can kill that carry them on them. So if you need any help finding these, maybe I'll make a video in the future on how to find Sunset Sarsaparilla star bottle caps easy, maybe show some of the locations. But if you're really having that much much trouble finding them you can just stockpile up on sunset sarsaparillas and then continue drinking them until you get enough star bottle caps so anyways follow the path that i show here after talking to festus uh and giving him the 50 star bottle caps he will open up the safe door for you and you will follow this path i go and you will see a hole in the ground up here drop into there take a left and then take a right through this grand looking door and at the end of this little safe vault thing, whatever, will be a man named Alan Marks, and the Pew Pew will be lying next to his body. So, Pew Pew belonged to Alan Marks, a man infamous for hunting people for Sunset Sarsaparilla star bottle caps in the Mojave Wasteland. He broke into the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters prize vault not knowing it was airtight, got locked in, and thus met his demise. You will also find his final words on a little recorder that he has with him, so you can listen to that as well. I'm not going to show that in the video. You guys can experience that for yourself if you'd like to. Some characteristics about the weapon. Visually, the upper casing of the weapon is colored red, and the focus adjustment knob on the rear of the gun has a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle cap with a crudely drawn star attached by a screw. Underneath the bottle cap are the words, Had It Coming, etched into the casing along with eight hash marks. Additional hash marks also appear along both sides and the underside of the main body of the pistol. On top of the main body is a wooden plate with what appears to be two capacitors attached by nails strapped on by black tape and wired into the main body in a series by a red and blue wire hinting at its extra power output. Fires a distinctly orange beam with the flare from the muzzle being more intense than a standard laser pistol. Pew Pew does dramatically more damage than the standard laser pistol, but at the cost of 5 energy cells per shot, resulting in only 2 shots before reloading. It is also considered an improved holdout weapon and can be concealed so long as your sneak skill is 50 or greater. The gun can fire about 395 times using standard cells, the equivalent of 198 reloads with full condition before breaking. So this thing is a beast, but you only get 2 shots per reload to use it. So you gotta make sure that your aim is spot on. Even though in this video, as you can see here, I do not have the condition fully repaired, so Pew Pew's a little inaccurate. You want to have the condition fully repaired so that it is very accurate, and when it is very accurate, it is very good. So, some other stuff about the weapon, um, some notes about it, I mean. Pew Pew has the same trademark colors, red and yellow, as the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company, further highlighting the obsession of its previous owner, Alan Marks. He was obsessed with this, and it's a little ridiculous. This man really needs to see intervention, you know, that he needs to be on that TV show, but I guess it was too late, he died. That's Can't save him now. Prior to patch 1.3.0.452, Pew Pew had a 30 round magazine and used 15 energy cells per shot. Thankfully, I did not play the game before that patch came out. I did not have to use 15 energy cells per shot. That is ridiculous. I would have used all my ammo up really quickly. Um, when fired, the first laser will call a cause a yellow-orange burst of light from the barrel, yet the second shot will most often be red with no flash, just the laser. Something very weird. It seems like the first shot is more charged up, at least with the color it is. If you have less than 5 energy cells, Pew Pew can still fire, so if you only have 2, it'll still fire, but it'll only use those 2 shots. It may be called Pew Pew because of the fact that it fires 2 shots per magazine. You know, Pew, Pew, there's the 2 shots. And um, it is also the most imp most powerful improved holdout weapon that is not an explosive, thus making it useful for assassinations within casinos or other venues where only holdout weapons can be taken, like the fort or even these gambling casinos that I'm at. When changing ammo types in third person, Pew Pew doesn't make any reloading sound, that's weird, and when aiming with true iron sights on, you'll still have a crosshair. Uh, so behind the scenes, Pew Pew is a commonly used onomatopoeia, onomatopoeia, representing the sound of a laser being fired. And sorry I had to repeat the gameplay here, I ran out of gameplay, but that's all I have to say about this weapon. This weapon's very awesome. Uh, I would definitely recommend picking it up if you can manage to get your hands on enough Sunset Sarsaparilla star bottle caps. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you could, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. See you next time. Goodbye.